celebration of Black History Month, and more importantly, the study of Black History uh, Month, to Dr. Carter G. Woodson, born to parents who were former slaves. He spent his lifehood working in Kentucky mines and enrolled in high school at the age of 20. He graduated within two years and later went on to earn his PhD from Harvard University. The scholar was disturbed to find in his studies that history books largely ignored the black American population. And when blacks didn't figure into the picture, he was generally in ways that he did things in a way to reflect that the inferior social position that we were put in was not fair. Woodson always wanted to act on his ambitions, decided to take on the challenge of writing black writing about black Americans into the nation's history. He established the Association for the Study of the Negro Life and History, now called the Association for the Study of Afro-American Life and History, in 1915. A year later, found it, he founded the respected journal of Negro History. In 1926, he launched a Negro History Week as an initiative to bring national attention to the contributions of blacks throughout American history. Woodson chose the second week of February for Negro History Week because it marks the birthday of two great men, two men that we can remember, whose names are Frederick Douglass and Abraham Lincoln. However, however February has much more than Douglass and Lincoln to show for its significance in black American history. It wasn't until 1976 that President Gerald Ford officially proclaimed February the birth month of both abolitionists and a newsman, Frederick Douglass, as black American history. February has been set aside as a time to honor historical achievements of African Americans in this country. Now, what is the importance of black history? Hero heroes are recalled and noted. Trailblazers are celebrated. Moments of triumph over bigotry are marked. In the Piedmont, the Civil Rights Movement is remembered as a signature event at the Woolworths when African Americans stood up for their rights because they wanted to be treated as equals. In eastern North Carolina at Camp Lejeune, birthplace of one of the most significant events in the history of our nation, of African American population. And that was where at Camp Lejeune, we were initiated into that particular platoon or branch of uh, government. The painful matter of slavery, the struggle to overcome it, and the triumphs over deeply rooted hatred. The emergence of a true melting pot, America, in which a black man has become president, a benchmark to note. And today, there are still unfortunate barriers to, e to, um, to, to equality in our society. Nevertheless, I want you to know there's power in knowledge. There's strength in the struggle. There's obedience to God, the main thing, and confidence in yourself. You never let anybody tell you what you're going to be and what you're not going to be. Doesn't matter if you're black or white. It really doesn't matter. Just know who you are. Never mind where you came from. Just know you, that all things will work together for good. Because the Bible says that all things work together for good. To them who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. You have to know that the day that you were born, you were born with a purpose. It's up to you to find it. And I'm telling you this right now, that it doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter if you were born with a silver spoon. Just know that you can go. It's not where you are. It's where you're going in this life. Thank you.
sometimes the weight of this whole world try to slay me. A strong tower from the enemy you had meant for me. So I need to find a place, a special secret place, where I feel his warm embrace, a place I call my sanctuary. When my heart is overwhelmed, my prayers lead me to the rock. Father, lead me to the rock that's higher than I. Yes, you are my sovereign. You are my firm foundation, my salvation, my solid rock. Yes, you are. You are my. You are my firm foundation, my salvation. Yes, you are my solid rock. Oh, you are. You are. You are my firm. My salvation, Lord. My, 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 my solid rock Oh, Lord, you are My firm foundation Lord, I'm so glad, I'm so glad You my solid rock Yes, you are, Lord, you are You are my firm foundation My salvation Lord, I can say my solid rock, y'all Oh, you are, you are Oh, my firm foundation I'm so glad My son rock, Lord, I can depend on you. Lord, I can lean on you. Oh, in the time of trouble, Lord, I'm so glad you my son rock. You my son rock, Lord. So glad you my son rock. Lord, I trust you tonight, Lord. I depend on you, Jesus. Oh, I can lean on you. I can lean on you. I can come. My solid rock, my solid rock, Lord. Oh, 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 Lord, I'm so glad you my present Lord, in a time of need. Oh, you my solid rock, you are my firm foundation, my salvation, my solid rock. Thank you, Jesus.
from a Central Michigan University, a Master of Diversity, and a Doctor's of Ministry with, the, with a concentration in Philosophy, Province, Theology, Seminary. Dr. Sweat serves our country as a communication technology in the United States Army for several years. Upon the action of the armed forces, he was employed in Washington, D.C. by leading the commercial development property management firm as a senior property manager. Longing to return to his roots, he re relocated to Suffolk and has never regretted and the decision, Dr. Sweat. The decision, Dr. Sweat is a pastor of Laurel Hill United Church of Christ. Coordinated uh, Paul, D. Um, Paul D. Camp Community College at Smithfield. A professor of religion and philosophy at Paul D. Camp Community College. A mentor in Suffolk School System. President of the Harlem Ministry Alliance and a member of additional organizations. Dr. Sweat is a published writer. He has written three books, I Cry, I Cry for Ethnics and More Strength, A Race, Color of Religions Matters, and the Ability to Love and Be Loved. He's happily married to Janice Hitt Sweat for 24 years. They are the parents of two wonderful children, Carl, Third, and April. The family is the family has dedicated their self to the community service. They live by the word recorded in Matthew 19:26. With God, all things are possible. Thank you. <laughs> now, I'm sorry. Now we will have our Solo again with um, Kent Barnes, and after that, our speaker of tonight would be Dr. Carl Sweat. <laughs> 